Today we're going to go through the steps to sublimate Chromalux tabletops. Here are the items you'll need. A blank Chromalux tabletop, the printed transfer, poly fabric to wick away moisture and provide even heat across the tabletop, a sublimation printer, and RIP software to ensure consistent quality results, heat gloves, heat tape, a cloth for cleaning the surface, all-purpose cleaner, a large format pneumatic heat press set to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, blowout paper, and a Nomex pad. Start the process by peeling the protective film off the tabletop and cleaning the coated surface with a cloth as the edges may have some adhesive or residual glue. We use rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth to make sure the surface is free from anything that could block the transfer of the sublimation dyes. Inspect the tabletop to make sure you've cleaned it completely. Before attaching your transfer to the blank tabletop, make sure to clean the transfer. We use compressed air to get rid of dust particles. Spread the print out on a large, clean space and center the table within the area of the bleed. Wrap two sides of the transfer to the back of the tabletop and tape the edges to the back. Make sure to fold the sides of the transfer against the edges of the tabletop so the tabletop stays centered. To set up your heat press, start with the Nomex pad at the base of the heat press. Next, add a sheet of blowout paper the blank tabletop with the blank side facing up, another sheet of blowout paper, and a poly fabric layer to wick away moisture and distribute heat evenly. Here's an extra tip. Use large magnets to pull poly fabric tight and attach to the top platen of the heat press. Your heat press should be set to 325 degrees Fahrenheit for seven minutes and 30 seconds at 70 PSI. Pull the bottom platen of the heat press all the way out and place your tabletop in the middle of the press, blank side facing up. Centering the tabletop ensures that there is consistent heat and pressure applied and helps the heat press last longer. Place a sheet of blowout paper over the tabletop and smooth it out. Push the bottom platen of the heat press in and begin pressing. Once the pressing is complete, remove the blowout paper and wait a moment for the tabletop to cool. Remove the transfer and when the tabletop is cool enough to touch, lay it on a clean, cool surface with the sublimated side facing up. Allow the tabletop to cool completely. Clean the edges of the tabletop to remove any paper left over from the transfer. If the tabletop doesn't set completely flat after it has cooled, place a fresh sheet of blowout paper beneath the tabletop with the sublimated surface facing down and place both back into the heat press for another 40 seconds at the same pressure as before. After pressing the tabletop for 40 seconds, let it cool on a clean surface with the sublimated side facing down. Once it cools, you'll have a perfectly flat, beautifully sublimated tabletop. <music>